In this video, we'll take a look at creating vectors in ArcCam. Now, these can be lines, circles, or arcs, for instance. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be drawing, and it's actually a docking station. So the first thing that I want to show you is if you happen to rotate the view whilst you're creating, let's say like so, and you want to go back for it to be a plan view so you can actually draw these vectors. If you just select the view from the top in the view toolbar, it will take you back to a view from the top. Now, another way to do this is to just do it completely in the 2D view. You won't be able to actually rotate the view around. So what I'm going to do is start from scratch to do this. So if I just draw a box around these, just press delete on the keyboard and it will delete all of the vectors. I'm going to do the main part of the docking station first of all. Let's create a rectangle, let's say like so. You can enter a width and the height for this. So let's say 160 and a height of 200. And then you can add some corner radius to that say 15 like so and then click create when you're happy with that either press cancel or you can just right click to close the tool now this is not in the center at the moment now you can do that by either pressing f9 or you can select vector align and then center in the model which is the shortcut f9 and that will center that within the model I'm now going to create a rectangle for the cutout for the phone. So let's create a rectangle. I'll just do that anywhere. Let's do this a width of 70 and a height of 140. Corner radius. Let's do those 10 and select create. Now I need to place this in this corner somewhere. Now one thing that you can do is to add what we call guidelines to this. Now I can't actually do that at the moment because I need my rulers on the screen. So to turn those on, if I go to view and then select to show rulers, and you can see that I've got these rulers at the top and at the side there. Now, if I want to create a guideline, what I can do is left click on the ruler on the left hand side, bring that across. And then if I right click on this guideline, I can edit the guideline and I can enter a position for this. And I want this to be minus 70. Select apply. And then I can close that and do the same with the top to enter a horizontal one like so you can edit that guideline as well. And I want this one to be, let's say 90. Both of them are 10 millimeters in from the edge. What I can do is snap to that corner. So if I go somewhere near there, it will snap. And then if I move, I can get a snap that will put it right in the path of those two guidelines. I'm going to create a few more rectangles. I'm not too fussed about where these actually are. So this one's to actually put your watch around. So let's do that 70. Let's give it a width of let's say 20. And let's add some corner radius to that. See how I can just select that, bring that in. So I'll bring that into a roundabout there and create that. Now what I'm going to do here is create that at a specific width. So let's do that at 50 and a height of 12. So the other piece is going to actually fit into this. So if I select create, what I'm going to do is just drag that and snap it onto the edge there. Right, so let's show you how you can edit these edges off. There are a couple of ways that you can do this. The first one is to use something called node editing. So if I go into here and can either press N on the keyboard or select here for node editing. Now this displays all of the points on this rectangle that I had selected. And what I can do is just move that around 
completely change the shape of that if I wanted to. What I can also do is right click and it gives me some options here at the top. And what I want to do is to cut the vector. So if I cut the vector and then do the same here, cut the vector, I can exit node editing. And if I draw a box around that, you can see that I've got that area selected and I can delete that. Now you can see that I have the original rectangle within there. So what I can do with that is trim that off. So if I go to trim vectors, just select there, it will trim that piece off. Now for this one, I'm just going to trim this off. So if I select the trim tool and I can trim that and then trim that. Now that I've finished with these guidelines, if I want to delete them, I can right click, delete the guideline like so. Let's create another rectangle. And I'm going to snap that onto the center of the phone holder, like so. Now, if I want to move this up just a touch, I can do that by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. So if I go up, you can see that that goes inside there. Now to create the pocket for the lead, what I need to do is create a polyline and make sure that I've got draw smooth polylines on. And then I'm going to just create this sort of wiggly line like so. Bring that up to there. Now, if I want to edit this, I can just go into the node editing by pressing N on the keyboard, like so. I can move these up so I can change how I want this to actually look. So let's say that I want that to be more of a curve around there. I can change that around there. And when I'm happy with that, I can exit the tool. Now what I want to do is offset this. So if I select to offset vectors, and I'm going to do this five millimeters, select the vector and then offset, and it will give me a five millimeter offset. Now this area here, this won't actually machine because I've got open vectors and I want to create a pocket for this. So it needs to be a closed vector. So what I'm going to do is create a line. Make sure that this is not a smooth polyline because it will give me a rounded edge. And I'm going to add to existing line. So it will automatically add onto this. Now make sure that the cursor changes so you can snap to the end and you can see that it adds onto it and it's all one line now. So what I want to do now is to tidy up the top of this. Now, I don't want that to be coming in like that. I want this to be quite rounded here. So what I'm going to do is node edit this and I'm going to cut this, let's say around about there. And I'm just going to delete that vector and then create a polyline. Make sure that I've got add to existing line selected and then draw a smooth polyline. So I'm going to bring that, let's say, up there, like so. And then just bring that out. Okay, so it hasn't got this quite harsh edge, which you wouldn't want on a cable. Now, what I can do is just trim these off if I wished. And then I can join up the end by selecting to close the vector with a line. And it will automatically close that up. And now that I have a closed vector, what I want to do is merge both of these vectors into each other. And I can do that by going to vector, merge, and then I can weld. And it will automatically trim off that area and merge them into each other. Now I want to create a cutout for an area for the phone. And I can do that by selecting the actual phone area, editing that and selecting copy or control C and then edit and paste or control V. 
Now I've got two copies there and what I'm going to do is select node editing and I'm going to draw a box around all of the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is move that up. Now you can see that I'm not maintaining any sort of angle snap. I can do that by pressing Alt on the keyboard and I can move that up. That's going to be a window. So there you can see my front of my docking station complete. And here it is with the back of it ready to be machined.